guys welcome back to another episode of modern sky block 3 with Haley, and we are picking up shortly after we left off and uh i've listened to you guys i've learned some things so let's jump in uh as you can see i am still i'm standing on the charge pad but thank you red knight lord one of my patrons who gave me the information about the fact that i need to hook the uh charge pad up to an energy cube for mechanism and that'll actually convert it so i went ahead and made the elite energy cube let me just show you what those recipes are surprisingly it wasn't a quest nothing dingling when i did it um energy cubes on the say energy cubes because there's different versions of them you have your basic energy cube which is just redstone a steel casing we made steel casings before that's just steel obsidian and glass uh iron and energy tablets which are redstone enriched alloys and gold so your basic one holds up to two million oops got up there holds up to two million joules the advanced ones hold up to eight million joules the recipe for advance is pretty much the same instead of just redstone though it takes enriched alloy and instead of iron it takes osmium so that's the next level up and the elite energy cube which i've made holds 32 million joules which is like 32 million rf and the recipe for that is the reinforced alloy and gold instead of having the redstone and the redstone alloy you have the gold there and they still require energy tubes energy tablets so you have to upgrade the energy tablet for each one so i can hook directly up into my power situation the energy cube you can see is getting rf there and i just kind of let it sit there 32 million joules is going to take a long time to fill up but yeah just stand on my charge pad here and we are good to go um so you can see I have all of these items charged up. So uh, uh, thank you so much, Red Knight, for um, telling me about the energy cube. That helped out a lot. I um, also want to thank Linda who helped me figure out what that key was because uh, I had a conflict apparently. So if I go to the controls here, I need to be looking up C-O-F something cof keys so the v you can see is, is a conflict there so i'm actually going to change this to uh let's try number pad one remember number one okay we're going to figure out what everything does so we're going to do two things this episode first thing i need want to do i want to test out this armor because every little special thing here says press number pad one to empower so what happens when you empower it uh what i do know is that it's going to take it's probably going to <clears throat> cause some damage so i'm going to actually do this in the nether so let's hop in the nether we haven't been here in a while at least i haven't been with you guys in a while maybe i've done some off-camera stuff here i still need to get a gas i have to get the angel ring ah, so hard to do oh hi hi hello pigman there's so so many of you out here okay now you're not gonna be mad at me are you okay yeah, you guys stay there i'm going to go ahead and head over to uh, well, hang on. I have a waypoint here. Close that. I should have a waypoint over here to a fortress. And there's a lot of mean stuff over here that wants to bite my head off. Well, it was last time I was here. See, there's some blazes and some pigment there. So I want to use this sword first. So I'm going to go ahead and do what it says. Press number pad one to empower. And it takes 200 RF per use. <sighs> what is it going to do? Okay, so I'm press V. Uh, no, not V. <laughs> one. And I can see it kind of changed a little bit. Um, it does say, okay, so it's empowered because I can quell it if I want to. Six attack damage and 10 flux damage. So if I put number pad one again, uh, what does it say about the damage? Six attack damage and one flux damage. So it does more damage when it actually hits stuff. So let's do, let's go find us a blaze. Um, now the reason I want to be careful over here, we'll, we'll do this next, is apparently the bows. Hi, okay. And I'm wondering if the armor... Yeah, instead of the armor, uh, for, it uses power for that. So let's see. Ooh, it does do a lot of damage. Not a, not a lot of hearts, but it does some. Uh, let me go back over here while I'm uh, slowly burning to death. Oops. Oh, I got another heart. Yeah. What? Ow, hey, hey, that's cheating. I wasn't ready. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and try out this bow. And I'm going to die. I'm not gonna, I can't die while I'm on fire. Okay. Hey, hey. Oh, gosh. Okay. You guys are cheating over here. I want okay. If I die, it's fine. You know, it's fine. Fine. Okay. 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 I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm out of food. Okay. Well, let's try the bow and arrow real quick. So, I need to empower both the quiver. I guess. I don't know if it does anything. Yeah. Okay. Empower the quiver, and let's empower. Uh. Yeah. So let's power that, 
and make sure that's still in power. Yeah, okay. If you can tell a little bit on the bow, though, it kind of, um, this kind of pattern there did something. I don't know. All right, let's try to shoot us some bad guys. I don't have any arrows on me, but I'm assuming since I have the quiver that it'll do something. All right, come on, little blaze. Let's see what happens when I shoot you. Did, did I hit you? Oh, you gonna hit me? Ow, okay. Uh. Oh gosh, okay, yep, that did an explosion. Wow, okay. <laughs> oh wow, that's a lot of explosions there. So that is pretty cool. Uh, okay, I, I like it just for the bow. Okay, let's go ahead and go home. Uh, let's get back to the portal. And let's, oh, well. I, I, I mistimed it. You know what? I'll just go ahead and die. Because, boom, there it goes. Splat. Hey, they left a, left a mark there. Or more than a mark. It was like a uh, a ghostly thing. Anyway, all right. So let's, we'll, we'll play with these a little bit later. I'm going to put these items up because they take a lot of room in your inventory. Each one apparently does something different. Um, but yeah, that's cool. The shield. I wonder what that would have done. Probably should have had the shield on me. That would have been much, much better. Okay, but we want to do something different. We want to do something important. I uh, want to get in here and go back to the quest. So we are go back to the quest book. We finished up last time the iron armor and we talked about the big item filter. We want to make that next, but we're going to need a slice and splice. So we're, what we're going to do now, we're going to head into the ender machinery chapter and slice and splice. It's not that far down. We may already get to that in this episode, but first we need to make some grains of infinity. Now the grains of infinity, we talked about it last time. We need to have bedrock, which you start out with when you're on a sky block, they give you a little bedrock, but I need to put, I need to set on fire bedrock to get the grains of infinity. So let's, do I have a flint and steel already? I should. Yeah. Let's say, because I may, I went to the net. Of course I have a flint and steel. All right, let's go over here and set the bedrock on fire. We're going to make some popcorn. Uh, this will make sense here in a second. <laughs> so we're just going to go ahead. Oh, let me move this stuff because I don't want to... I think there's anything in here. Just some snow snowball in here. I uh, don't want to set that on fire. Now, I might end up melting the snow when I do this. So we're just actually going to, yeah, set that on fire. It's going to make a little popping noises. And after so long, it should give us some grains of infinity. Let's put this up here. And come on. Any popping noises? Come on, come on, come on. Give me some pop, 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 pop. There we go. Something popped. I think it was in there. Now, the good thing about it, it doesn't burn up if you keep it in. There we go. The grains of infinity. So it doesn't burn up when you after you after if you leave it in there too long. Uh, they only get one. I'm going to need a bunch of these for the, all the different materials. So if there's more in there, it will despawn, but it won't burn. So you kind of kind of keep an eye out for it. All right. Well, I got two. Enough to go ahead and open the quest and move on to the next one. Now we're going to make a simple machine chassis. That's the only thing that requires here. Those are, so basically it's, it's kind of tiered the ender, um, the ender machinery. You kind of have a tier one for the simple machines and then the machines that we normally know from Ender IO, they're considered almost like a tier two. So we're, we're going to have to make the first one, the simple machine chassis, which requires Iron, iron bars, and grains of infinity. So let's go ahead and make that for the quest. We're gonna need a bunch of those because we need a lot of grain, a lot of grains of infinity. Uh, let's go ahead and get our iron. Do I have iron bars? I think I have iron bars already over here. I have a feeling I've seen them. Hey, I got iron bars! Yay! Um, so any iron bars and iron ingots. I don't have the iron ingots on me. I need to go get some more chicken. Um, let's go ahead and grab our iron ingots. I think we just need four of those. And we'll go ahead and craft our simple machine chassis. There we go. And bam, dingling. Hey, I got a achievable. The third S is solid. No, the first S is solid. There we go. Uh, we'll do claim quest later. Now we're going to make a simple alloy smelter. The simple alloy smelter. Oh, there, there's the dingling. So, so, so wants to. I'm going to go ahead and grab some chicken because I've been wandering. I did realize, oh yeah, since I did reset, uh, I lost my 
breeding chickens over here. Um, so I had to go back and redo the demon one and I, I would do the mana infused one. But yeah, um, I, I lost it. I, it just took the breeders out altogether. So I had eight over here. Now I only have six. I don't know why I did that. Just, and I also lost, I had a machine sitting here. So there's just random stuff that kind of disappeared uh, when you update, which is minor compared to the uh, what it could have been. But you know, you, I did lose some stuff and I'm still finding stuff that I'm losing. I'm just may not be using it anymore. But when I go and look for it, I'm like, hey, where is that thing? All right, back to where we were. Um, a simple alloy smelter. Take the blocks off. Okay, simple alloy smelter. It requires that machine chassis we just created, iron ingots, some stone gears, and a bucket, and, and two furnaces. So stone gears, there's two options. Let's do the one that's just stone and sticks. I'm going to need iron. I'm going to just put the, I got a bucket on me. So let me just grab some iron, some cobblestone, and some sticks. And I have sticks over here. Oh, yeah, I got a bunch of sticks. Let's grab all those sticks. And we'll grab some cobblestone from one of our two cobblestone generators over here. Yeah, give me that. Give me all that. Are you getting full? I think that one's full. Because every time I come here, I can't even pick up all the stuff. All right, let's make uh, two furnaces because what it requires. Two furnace. Not not three, just two. Um, the stone gears, we'll make two of those. And now I should be able to make the simple alloy smelter. Ding, ding. So we have an alloy smelter, so we can actually create alloys, uh, like if we want to make the pulsating iron, even though we have a chicken that already does that, or any other types of alloys that need to be smelted together. All right, now let's go ahead and look at the next one it wants us to make. In steel, dark steel, done. Okay, in steel. In steel is an in-game EIO alloy made with obsidian, in stone, and dark steel. Ooh. Really? Now, what's weird about this, and I noticed with other quests, some of these quests is marking complete, <clears throat> even though I have not done them. Uh, I think we saw that earlier with like the Thomcraft one. These are new, maybe these are new quests that came in, because I'm like, I know I have not made a vat, <laughs> and that was already done. Um, but if it's opening up some of the things we need, um, it's creative use of game mechanics. I'm not doing anything weird. I, I mean, I'll go ahead and make the items if I need them, but if the quest is open to prevent me from being locked through it like the enhanced chest i have did i make that i have not made that but it says i've completed it but let's go ahead let's go ahead and make the soul chassis because we're trying to go down this line here to get the slices splice open so that's what we need to do to make a soul machine chassis soul machine all right soul machine chassis uh it needs to be made with a simple machine chassis and an alloy smelter, or i can make it in an induction smelter okay I might do that. Uh, let's make another simple machine chassis because we need, uh, let's go see if we got some more grains of infinity over here. Like I said, we're going to need more of those. Um, so I want to just get the slice and splice done. Hey, there's one, one more. Okay. All right. We got the, uh, do I have any extra iron on me? I should have grabbed, oh, there's iron over here. There's iron right here. So I'll have to run back over there. All right. So let's make another uh, simple machine chassis. Got that. And now what's this soul blend? Um, this requires organic brown dye, organic black dye, and crushed quartz. What's with the organic stuff? Um, let's see. And the alloy smelter. It's the same recipe whether I choose the alloy smelter or the uh, induction smelter. All right. So let's see. Industrially produced dye with organic and inorganic compounds. Not biodegradable. May contain traces of ectoplasm. Ooh, not edible. <laughs> well, fine. Okay. Avoid contact with eyes in case of the contact with eyes. Rinse immediately with holy water and seek religious advice. I like reading the little flavor text. All right. So uh, let's figure out how to get soul powder because we need two soul powders and two organic brown dyes. And it gives us six, which is good. We're gonna need. All right. Um, let's see what our options are. So crafting, we need the tiny piles of stuff. So we're not going to be able to craft it. Uh, oh. And the solarium. Okay, I can do that. I can put it in. Okay, so solarium and a crusher will give us that. We have solarium because we had a solarium chicken. Let's go over here and grab that. So we're going to get two of those. Yeah, I just want to be able to get the slice and splice. We got a few minutes left in this episode. So let's see how far we can get solarium. So I need two of those. Um, I put my jet pack on just so I can fly. Yeah, goes for the, yeah, I got the lamb. I made that like a long time ago. All right, let's drop this in our crusher. 
and drop. There we go. So we get that. Then we need to figure out, let's see, how to get our organic brown dye. Uh, that's made in the alloy smelter. It's going to take twigs and slime balls. So twigs and prunings. How the heck did you get that? All right, so I guess I need to set this alloy smelter down. I mean, it's a simple alloy smelter, but it should give me what I need. I'm going to have to power it up. So what I'm going to do, that's going to be an RF in it. We're going to use one of these. Oh, wait, no, I made extra stuff. I made extra. Uh, yeah, because in between episodes, I needed some more uh, insulated wires. Because I didn't want to hurt myself. Good, got that. Okay. So uh, how do I get twigs? Uh, it's going to tell us here in just a second. Come on. Run right, right around the corner. All right, let's put that there. No power. I know it's got no power. There we go. Got power in it now. All right. Now, I like this one because in in one of our squad packs, it had required a, um, oh, what's the little things called? The capacitors, like the basic capacitors in it. Um, so this one doesn't require that, which is good. Okay, so what do we need? We need, um, trying to figure out how to get twigs. Uh, twigs and prunings is just a shrub and a sag mill. I don't have a sag mill. Really? All right, how do I get a shrub? I think it's just a dried sapling. So we may actually have to work on this in between episodes, which means I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and work on the sag mill now. Um, if, yeah, if, if I think correctly, wait a minute. Yeah, I think it's a dried sapling. Go ahead and feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. I'm just trying to remember. I need 12 of those shrubs. Let's see if I take a sapling on a drying rack. Because I did that before. No, not apple, regular sapling on a drying rack will give me a, a dead bush. Oh my gosh, what's, okay, how do I get a shrub? Um, organic brown sorry if you can hear that apparently there's a plane flying over <laughs> that doesn't normally happen all right um yeah so how do i get a shrub i know to turn to biofuel huh i might be stuck guys all right well i'm going to leave the, that comment up to you guys let me go ahead and make the sag mill because i need to make that and i'm pretty sure that's a quest as well uh soul binder where's the sag mill should be one of these machines industrial machine really sag mill's not a quest well, we'll go ahead and make it and we'll make the simple one uh and apparently um good grief <laughs> Everything's going on at once. Phone's going off, planes going around. Okay, so sag mill, simple sag mill, not the decoration one, need a real one. Is uh, that simple machine chassis? I'm gonna make a bunch of those. Uh, flint and steel and just stone gears. So let's get some stone gears again. And so let's, let's grab a stack. So oh, let's set a stack. Let's grab some of that. Uh, I'm gonna need some uh, flint, which I have plenty of those. I have a flint chicken. Where is that? Flint. One, two, three. I think I need a piston as well. What was that? Is that piston on there? Yeah. Okay. So piston. I want to need some iron, some redstone. I got cobble and I always mess up some oh, planks. I always miss that for the piston. Let's go ahead and make the piston now. Uh, that. Bam. Okay. And let's go ahead and see. Make some of these now. I need two of those. Bam. Got that. Then we make our sag mill. Yay, and we'll set that up. All right, well, yeah, surprisingly it wasn't a quest. It's just weird. Oh, it was a quest. <laughs> there it is. Uh, okay, so, shrub. Shrub. How do I get a shrub? Guys, that is, that, that is the test. In between episodes, between now and Sunday, your mission is to tell me how to get a shrub in Minecraft. Not a scrub. No, I don't want no scrub. <laughs> I know. But, but I'm okay. Uh, let's go ahead and power up the sag mill. Like I said, it's really easy to make. This stuff is just getting there. And bam. Uh, look, you know what? I'm going to take a look at these with a the slice and splice. And see if I have everything else I need to make for it. Um, we just need a skeleton, well, some kind of head, which I have that. A sewing machine chassis, which is what we're trying to get. Let's see, is there another way to get organic brown dye? That's the only thing I'm missing. Organic black dye. Let's see what I need for that. 
that's just pulverized coal and slime. So that's not an issue. Um, and then quartz powder or crushed quartz or another quartz dust. Yeah, I've got plenty of that. So yeah, I'm, I'm really industrially processed plants with a natural washed out color. Twigs and furnaces. That's where twigs and pruning. Sorry. So that's the only recipe for twigs and prunes from Indorio. And there's no recipe for a shrub. All right. Your mission, if you choose to accept this, is tell me how to get how to get um, a shrub. For right now, guys, I do want to thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode and are enjoying the series. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, tips, tricks, techniques, or just want to say hi, leave that comment down in the comment field below, and I will get back with you as quickly as I can. If you are new to my channel, uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button, click the like button, and click that notification bell to be notified when new episodes come out. If you want to hang out with me and any of the other squad members, you can do so by becoming a Patreon. The Patreon link is listed down in the description field be sure to click on it to check out all the awesome cool rewards that we have such as hanging out with us on our new servers now today i think it's today today's wednesday right today is the first brand new squad pack came out today guys it may be announced it'll be announced soon <laughs> it's on the it's on the launch if you guys want to take a look at it but it's the best day to become a patreon so if you want to be able to get on the server this weekend and hang out with us i'm really excited about this pack i mean squad i have to say tegan does an amazing job we you know we just throw ideas out there together and she makes it happen squad pack six is going to be absolutely fantastic hopefully you guys can come out and join us if you can't you know become a patreon be sure to just hang out on the stream with us this weekend so you can see all the cool stuff that it has um, we also will be, uh, we have our seven days to die server. We also have our arc server and we also have the server that we're recording on, on the Enigmatica. Apparently there's a little prank war going on. All we did was visit. I swear. That's all we did was visit. We didn't do anything weird. And next thing you know, pff, my house is pink. Ugh. But <laughs> don't worry. We, we had a little fun. If you saw the uh, episode that came out on Tuesday. All right. That's enough chatting for right now. Be sure to hang out with us. You can hang out with us on Discord as well. And make sure you're also. Oh, God, stop, 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 stop. D dismiss. There we go. <laughs> make sure you're also um, checking out Host Havoc, who is uh, responsible for all these fun servers that we play on. Uh, click on the link below so they know where you came from. Until next time, guys, I will talk to you later. So have a great day, everyone. Bye.